Hey you guys, it's me, Nappy Kathy, and today I'm back and I'm doing my very first tag. Um, this tag that I'm doing today is called the Summer Tag, and pretty much what it does is it talks about things that I wore mostly this summer. Um, I was tagged by Beauty, Beauty Crush, which is a cool YouTuber, uh, another cool YouTuber. You should check her out. She talks about makeup and fashion and all kind of stuff. Yesterday I sat there and I watched at least 10 of her videos, and um, I think she's located in the UK. So this is a video response to her video that she tagged everyone in and I'm also tagging everyone to join me and tell me what you wore this summer 2012. Post the video response down below and that's it. If you guys have any questions just post them down below and um, let's just get started. Alright. Okay so question number one is what was the nail polish that you wore most this summer? Um, this is the nail polish that I wore mostly this summer. It's like a, um, a mint green color. It's kind of bright outside. If you guys can see it. Um, and I got it from Urban Outfitters. It costs $5. They usually have like, um, a sale if you have like, you can buy two for eight. But I think this time I just bought one color. And this, uh, color is called Smoosh. It's a real cute color and it's light and I love this bottle. It's just so, I don't know, it feels good in my hand. Okay, question number two was what was your most worn scent? And I actually have two because I wore one in the daytime and I wore one at night. Both of these are both by Chanel. Um, this one is called Mademoiselle and this is the one that I wore mostly at night. It has like an expensive smell to it um, and it's pretty strong but it was uh, a lot of people gave me compliments on this one and the other one is called Chance by Chanel this is uh, more of a rose smell this one is actually cheaper than this one I think this one was about 150 I got this as a gift but I went to go price check and I think it was about 150 and this one was around a hundred dollars I think 90 or a hundred dollars but this one I wore in the daytime and it's the, the pink bottle so these are the scents that I wore this summer next question is um, what was the most worn hair product that she used well this summer I actually um, I made my own concoction of puffy shea butter mix and if you guys want to check that out I will post the link on how to make it down below it's just a shea butter that I whipped up with a blender I mean a, a hand mixer and I added whatever oils I feel like adding to it and this works really well after um, washes or after I don't know during in between twist outs whatever it moisturized my hair it kept it moisturized really, really well so you guys if you want to try to make your own you should okay so question number four is what bags did you wear the most I actually had to I had to have a clutch and a regular um, bag um, this is the clutch that I rocked this summer it's uh, by Steve Madden and it opens like this I think this one was about $60 I don't remember so this matched everything that was in the tan, brown. This went with a lot of my outfits, so I just kept this around. And the second bag is also by Steve Madden, which is this cute little black. This matches with everything I swear, Steve Madden. Um, but yeah, this is another bag that I have. I think this was around... 80 I don't remember I kind of got these like during Christmas time so um, I don't remember how much it costs but that one's by Steve Madden and I love both of the bags they're they go with everything and they're extremely um cute I got a lot of compliments on these as well next question is what uh, were your most worn shoes and I actually had to I have a lot of shoes I really switch them up but when it came down to it I kind of stuck to the two ones that I'm going to show you the first pair are these um, sandals these are really cute I got these from like some random store by my house they were I think $13 but this gold accent right here after you get your like toes done it gives it such like an expensive look and um 
they're very comfortable and they match a lot of my outfits like you wear this you can dress it up with like some jeans or like a white you know like a white beater or whatever and put these shoes on and it looks like you really tried to dress up that day um and these are my other shoes if you know me this summer, if you hung out with me, you probably see me in these shoes at least like five times. These are Steve Madden wedges. Um, I actually got these last summer, but it was towards the end of the summer, and I, I, I didn't wear them with too many outfits. But this summer, it went with everything: skirts, dresses, shorts, jeans. Every event, I probably this summer, I probably wore these. They're very comfortable, and they pretty much dress up an outfit super cute. I wish like he had a second pair of this one. I think I was one of the last ones to get the shoes. I got these from Macy's and um, this was the, the second to the last size left. So this um, it was one out here and then one in like a different state and I got the last one in California. So yeah. I wish he could redo these so I could get them again because I don't want I don't know, they're getting old, but I don't really care. I'm going to wear them until they fall apart. Next question is, what was your favorite clothing item that you wore? And um, for me, every day I wore something different. Um, I think it was like a pair of jeans. I don't really remember, but it's starting to get hot. So um, with my clothing item, I'm going to just say scarves. This is one of my favorite scarves that I wore this summer. I got this from, um, where did I get this from? This event that I went to, this girl was selling me scarves and I bought one, um, one of these scarves. So that would be my most worn clothing item. Not necessarily this scarf, but I had like, I have a lot of scarves and I just pretty much switch them up every day. My most worn accessories, because I have a lot of them and I also make things as well, would be, um, this necklace that I got from this uh, flea market that I went to in um, what city? Santa Monica. This necklace went with everything. I got it for three bucks, and I am in love with it. I'm not giving it to no one to borrow ever in my life because they will not return it. That's how bomb it is. Um, also, I have two rings that I fell in love with. This is one ring um, that I got from the store in Fox Hills Mall. I cannot remember the name of it, but uh, if you guys have questions about it, post it down below by then I should find out the answer. This ring actually looked like it came from, or it was made in India. I got this ring. I've never paid $25 for a ring ever in my life. Normally my rings are like $10, $15 at the most. But this time it was worth it. I knew no one else would have it. So I went ahead and just gave her the money. I think the total came up to like 30 something dollars. But this ring is extremely cute and I love it. Okay, so another ring that I fell in love with this summer would be this ring. This is actually handcrafted by a lady, a vendor. Her name is Raina and she's located in... Um, the LA area you can actually email her and she'll customize it to whatever color you want it to look like um, so I'll post her, her information down below um, I actually ordered a bracelet also she makes bracelets like this so just imagine this ring as a bracelet like sitting right here I got it for uh, one of my little nieces and it looks extremely cute she was just born and I gave it to her for her baptizing uh, Christian day. Um, so she's extremely nice to so check her out. Um, her name is Raina and just tell her I sent you. And okay, next question is most worn foundation. I personally don't wear foundation too much because I sweat a lot as you can see and it just comes right off and I hate going to the club and um, wearing foundation and then it's on my dress or like it's just everywhere so I just don't wear it unless it's like an actual event that I have to wear like a wedding or like a baby shower or something like that then I'll throw it on but pretty much what I use this summer as far as um, preventing oil um, I use this mineral powder by MAC it's almost gone 
Um, and this called, this the name of this one is called Deep Dark, and this is pretty much what I use for foundation. But sometimes I don't even use this; I just use it to help with my oily skin. So the next question is most you what is your most used lip product? Um, if you know me personally, you know that I will never be seen without Carmax. Carmax is my best friend. Like if I were to move to you know how they ask you that question, if you were to be stuck on an island and um, you wanted to you had to take three things, what would you take with you? Carmax would be my second thing that I would take on the item on the island um so I stick with uh CarMax when I can't find CarMax I like pull over and stop and I will buy another one because that's how addicted my lips are to this product love CarMax um also I uh this my sister gave me this um it's a lip gloss by Jose Moran and it is really cute. I fell in love with it as soon as I tried it. Um, you can find this at Sephora for about $20. And this color that I have is called Summer Loving. Summer Loving, yes. I got this as a gift from my sister, but you can find it at Sephora and it's really good lip gloss. So the next question is, what was the most um, used mascara that I used? And I will have to say it's this. Um, it's called Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. I got this from CVS. I think I paid about $8. I don't remember uh, how much I paid for it. But I think I got it on sale. I think it was like a two-for-one sale. And um, I had a coupon, of course, because I don't like paying full price for it. Nothing. But um, this is what it looks like. And at first when I bought this, I didn't think it was going to work and catch my eyelashes because they're so curly, but it actually did. And as soon as this is done, I don't even care at this point. I love this one so much. I will pay full price for this mascara. Yes, really good. And the last question in this tag was what was the most used um, eyeshadow? Um, every day I pretty much... Use, if I was really going tomorrow, I'd use a bright color, but uh, I will always mix it with this brown color right here. It's almost gone. And this one is by Elf Eyes, Lips, and Face. It's their uh, natural palette, I think. I think I paid about $15 for this. Um, I love this brown color. I pretty much used it as my crease for my crease line, or I just used it all over as a neutral color for the day. Um, so. Okay, so that was my summer tag for 2012, and I tagged everyone to do this tag. You could do a video response off of this. I'll post the questions down below, and you can just post your video down below in the comment box so that I can see what you guys wore this summer. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use this summer, just post a question down below and have fun with this tag. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.